Welcome back to another movie review, and now to review another um, Halloween film. Well, reviewing another Scooby Doo film because I've always enjoyed Scooby Doo. And for now, for this one, I'm going to be reviewing Scooby Doo and the Goblin King. Now, Scooby Doo and the Goblin King. It's another it's another um, Halloween based Scooby Doo film, of course. This one I I, I like, and plus it has some good uh, supporting um besides from the other Scooby Doo gang voice cast, but the supporting cast members is a pretty good, decent um pretty good I would say, more decent is a good voice cast. And as other as another it's another one of the good um Halloween episodes. Well, not episodes, directed to vid directed video movies. Um, Frank Welker comes back as the voice of Fred and Sco and Scooby Doo. Casey Kazim, um, Kazim, who is now no longer with us, who's which I think he passed passed away last year. Who's always been the for most of the for most of these, he's been the voice of Shaggy, but now uh, now with some um, Matthew Lillard who now voices Shaggy. But for most of the, all these directed video movies and um, the West New Scooby Doo show, uh, Casey Gis Casey Gizem has always been the voice of Shaggy, and I always thought he always did a good um, good job as um, as Shaggy, even like in a uh, Scooby Doo Mister Incorporated. You know Matthew Lillard voiced um, him in that show, voiced Shaggy in the show. But um, Shaggy's father was also was voiced by Casey Kazam, so it's nice of that though. But Casey because I may rest in peace. He's always been the voice of a good Shaggy. Um, now, with doing that in, in this um, in this in this um Scooby Doo directed video, um, and what you're and what you're looking up, it was um. It was also the first. Uh, this is the first Scooby Doo film that's not uh, made without um, the, the original creators, um, uh, Hannah and Barbara. This is like this is the first one that's not produced. That's not produced by them. Funny enough. But in the focus of in, in this story is that um, they're at they're at they're at, it's it's Hallow it's a you know, Halloween night. They're at the Halloween carnival. And they want to uh, see this magician named Krugsky, which is voiced by Wayne Knight. Wayne Knight, you know, famously playing Dennis in Jurassic Park and etc. Other films. He he plays the magician of uh, the amazing Krugsky. And since he got he got mad for a Scooby Doo early, he didn't want to see. A, does not allow him to see a show. So, but they tried to go and see a show. And they actually actually exposed that he's a fake. How many times? He, how many times have magicians proved to be fakes? You know, but but they expose him as a phony, and they get kicked out of the carnival. And so, um, Scooby, Scooby and Shaggy decided to go trick or treating. And back with with Krugsky, he wants to because he says he wants to be a real magician. And then there is this fairy. Um, who is a princess, fairy Princess Willow, voiced by Hayden Panettiere, which she's been films and TV shows, but also for the show Nashville. But why, 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 why? Um, she's also I know she was on um a voice role in back way back in uh, 2000 and Dinosaur. But she's also been in other films, like one of them I remember she was in Scream 4, and but she's been in other movies as well. Oh, um, Race and Stripes. That was the one I mostly remember her from. Race and Stripes. She um, voices. Uh, she voices the fairy princess Willow. She's like he's like kind of fooling around with him because um, he wants to. If he wants to get real magic, he wants to want the the, the goblin scepter from the Goblin King. But then she gets. But eventually she gets caught by Krusky. Takes it. Takes her. Her powers. And with Scoop, back with Scooby and Shaggy, um, they visit um, Magic Shop by um, Mr. Gibbles, 
who is voiced by Wallace Shawn, famously known, mostly known as um, voicing Rex in Toy Story. He's a uh, he's a uh, which he's also a uh, kind of like um. He's a he's a he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a he he does he does real magic and he's also very kind as well because you know he's not very doesn't uh, frighten them, but um, Fairy Princess Willow he he tells about the, well tells him what happened and the magician comes enters with magic and um, turns uh, Mr. Gibbles into a rabbit takes the princess again and. Calling to take a few things, including a mirror, and Scooby and Shaggy are shown images of the future, what's going to happen, and they need to get this. They need to get the Goblin Scepter from them before he does. So, so they have so they have to help out, and they throw what they get these um a stack of magic cards and they use ones like um disguises makes them into monsters to blend in. They uh, then they aboard they board this ghost train before that um Gibbles tells them that uh they have to be out of the spiritual world before sunrise, otherwise they're gonna be trapped there. So as they're on the ghost train they think it's too spooky enough because there's ghosts on there so they hit the <laughs> Shaggy hits the emergency brake and they um get stuff to where from this guy's house, who is um, um a wolf man, and he's like, Scooby Shaggy's like, you wouldn't hit a fellow werewolf, would you? And he's like, pretends like like Scooby's in his shirt and makes him pop out his arms and head out to make him look like a werewolf, and he's like, oh, go right ahead, and they enter like this um part, this little party of other monsters, then. Which, which leads to well, well, there is some, there's a few songs in this film. Um, one that Mr. Um, or Wallace Wallace Shawn sang. Then there's another one called um, Bump Up the Night. And then there's one other, so one more song after that. But um, then they um, they get stopped by these two goblin soldiers. One of them is voiced by Jim Belushi. And then, 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 um, but then they get scared off by um, a, ja a talking jack o' lantern by the name of, really Jack, really enough. Get yeah, jack o' lantern. His name is Jack. Yeah. And but and but Jack is a is also voiced by Jay Leno. What do I like about this one? Because it has a pretty good uh, voice casting of other guest star voices. Yeah, you know, like Wallace Shawn, Wayne Knight, Hayden Panettiere, Hayden Panettiere, Jim Belushi, um, Jay Leno as as Jack, any of them. Tim Curry voices the Goblin King, and uh, Lor and Lauren Beck uh, Beck Bacall, who voices one of the witches. So you have a very very good line of a uh, guest boy a uh, voice guest casting. Um, so Jack uh, and they, both of them enter a cemetery, but um, they get chased by the headless horsemen. And at one point, I guess, you know, Pilot Hellas starts puts Jack Leonard, uses his own head. Scooby Doo and Shaggy help them out with that. And which leads them to, um, the, to the witch's house. And just before, before uh, Jack Lee uh, tells him, you know, you guys have courage, that's the most powerful magic of all. And Jack says, but is that, that's not courage you saw, that was panic. Well, however you may, well, however you may call, it, that's what keep doing what you guys are doing. And then he then he leaves, saying Happy Halloween. Then they go to the witch's house, the lead witch, voiced by um, Lauren Buck Buckhall, which is also another person I think believe. No, the, the, who passed who passed away as well back in 2012. Um, but uh, her and other two other witches. Instance where turn a uh, shaggy into a snail and uh, Scooby to a mouse, and they get um they get this uh magic flying broom to take them where they need to go to this uh, place where the fairies are other other fairies. So as as they ride along, um the two goblin soldiers, one of them, like I said, one of them is Jim Belushi, shoots them down. Broom catches fire and they crash land to this place of where the fairies are. 
and they get where they get to where they need to go, they ask them where it is, and there's this elevator that goes straight all the way down to the supernatural world. Well, I think they're they're already in there as well, but down to the place where um this big park is at. And they use the disguise that the witches gave him. Of course, the disguises they both dress both dress up like Daphne and Velma. And majority of this, majority of this film, partly that um, majority of this film, uh, where there's no hardly there's no Fred, Velma, or Daphne. It's majority is just the primary focus is on this on these two here. Um. So they use those disguises. They enter the the big thing where all the goblins are, including the Goblin King, voiced by Tim Curry. Then they get they get then they get the other song that's playing, Gobble Doogie Boogie. But then after that, they banish the steel. They try they, they steal the scepter, but they get caught, and Goblin King takes it back because. The magician Krugsky, um offers to trade his scepter for the princess at midnight. So he, he so he takes it back and goes there. This clock tower. He makes the trade. And um, Fred un try, uh, tries to capture the, tries to capture them both, but um, they like capture the Goblin King. And now uh, Krugsky has the scepter and it makes him into a a, 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 the new Goblin King, and he turns and he turns um he turns the Goblin King into a a goose, and then he goes out and then he goes after um he, then he starts going after Fred, Daphne, and Velma. Turns the Mister the Mystery Machine into the monstrous machine, which is like right there, and Fred and. And the friend's like, hey, that that's no way to do to a to mess to, to do to a guy's van. They get chased, they get up to the Ferris wheel. Um Trusky turns them into monsters, which was an instance that was when um Mr. Gibble showed Scooby Doo a crystal ball, what happens during the future, that scene happens. Velma gets turned into a werewolf, Fred into a, into a vampire, and uh Daphne into a witch. And of course, who of course the typical thing um, what with those? Who can stop me now? So he says that. Then, of course, Scooby Dooby Doo, and the uh, Scooby throws a Jack and in, in Jack into them, into him, and which he loses the scepter, and Scooby grabs it, and he transforms into a go uh, like a, a a dog goblin, you know, and he. Turns you said to turn it back into a normal human being, Krutsky. Turns every and turns everybody. Turns everybody back to normal, same as the Goblin King. He takes his uh, scepter back, and he puts uh, Krutsky into a, into a, a prison, a prison, um, uh, a she, um, a circle prison, and and they learn that and learn you learn that um, Fairy Princess Willow is the Goblin King's daughter. And he's like, and uh, and Goblin King's like, well, you know, you are you are grounded for a whole year, but I'm glad that you're safe. Um, because because after all, it was she, it was all the stuff that got him, all the all of her troubles, what's led to this though. So that's my that's my Goblin King, Goblin King. She's a uh, um, Princess Fairy Princess Willow is is the daughter of a Goblin of the Goblin King. Um, so, so everything's turned normal, and, um, Jack, uh, who is all burned out because his candle's out, yeah, but, uh, Gibble, Mr. Gibbles gives him a new candle, lights him up again, and him and the magic broom, hop on the magic broom as they all go back into the supernatural world, taking, uh, the Goblin King, taking Krusky with him, not, but not before that, um, because Shaggy said, I'll never forget this day in which, in which, um, the Goblin King will allow, so he'll... He'll allow the Scooby and Shaggy to remember this night, but um, everyone, including uh, everyone, um, Daphne, Velma, and, and Fred, to for, they'll they'll forget their memories will be wiped, but except for Scooby and Shaggy. So as they head back, everything's back to normal. Fred, Daphne, and Velma, they they don't remember what happened. Um, and uh, and um, while um, Scooby and Shaggy they're in the they arrive at the Mystery Machine, hey, what happened? He's like. 
And Shaggy's like, you have no idea if we told you. So as the as the as the carnival is, um, is being you know packed up you know and ready, um, Shaggy looks in the looks into that um, mirror and he gets spooked by what looked like an image of the headless horseman, but it was a, a Scooby Doo. So so uh, Scooby Doo and the Goblin King. I I I I I I like I like this one. Uh, but the other ones, uh, the, but the other ones, I would say like Scooby Doo and Zombie Island or Scooby Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf. I would say those are better though. But I like this one. Another um good um Scooby Doo Halloween one. Uh, and, the, and, it's, and, it's, and it's not that long. And it's not that long of a film. It's only along for like seventy four minutes. So it ain't, it's not that long of a film. Uh. The voice, the voice, the the voice cast does the voice cast does a, does a, a good job. Um, like in case he like Casey Kazan made rest in peace. Once again, does a good job as Shaggy, uh, Frank Welker, Scooby Doo, and including Freddy and all the other voice castings of uh, Velma, Daphne, and then the other supporting voice cast like uh, Wallace Shawn, Wayne Knight, Tate Panteri, Tim Curry, Jim Belushi. Lauren and Bacall. They all they all did a good job as well. Uh yeah, did I say did I say Jay Leno? I think I, I remember I think I, I think I said Jay Leno. Yeah, all those other supporting cast members. They all they all did a good job. And that's what Jay Lou Jay Leno voices is Jack O Lantern, but Jack. And of course, um, as I uh, anyway, I explain the whole like dialogue for dialogue because there was a sometimes there's like um a p puns as well, you know, like Shaggy is to get on the magic broom. Let's make a clean sweep, or um, or with uh, Scooby, uh, Shaggy says to Scooby, like you can't teach an old dog new tricks, you know those kind of sayings. But that is what I say. Don't want to didn't want to say them all, but but Scooby Doo and the Goblin King. I like another good um one to review. That's some you know basic for Halloween. So, by the way, that's that's, that's gonna be it. Um, on IMDb has a six point five on IMDb, and as I think I believe it was a sixty one percent on Rotten Tomatoes. The songs, the the, the the those those three songs, all the ones that I think I liked out of them was the one Goblin Oogie Boogie. I think that's why I prefer more than the other two. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that's basically, that's basically. I just don't want to forget forget anything before I end the review. But I think that's pretty much it. Um, anyway, that's that, that's my review for Scooby Doo and the Goblin King. Thanks for watching and stay tuned on the next uh, movie review. Later.